to Target and check out their fall stuff and look at some of their books. We're thinking maybe one more on our October mm -hmm. TBR. We are recording a little later in the day than normal, so it is too dark to film in the car. But we're just gonna film here. We have yet to look at the book section in Target, so we're hoping they have a good selection. If not, we do have a couple books with us today that we have yet to show you guys, so we will go ahead and haul those when we get back. Hopefully they do have some good titles. Let's just go ahead and check it out. Backyard of your old farm in the summer. Stayed up for three weeks where we learned to love each other. Wrote you a letter, sent a message to the captain. Skip to the present, haven't been so happy ever. targets because we have a couple in our area and we wanted to see what all of them had the one i thought would be the best mm -hmm. was the worst and the one i thought would be the worst was, was the, the best. best there was a lot of cute fall stuff so we got some of that and we did get one book each so we'll show you what books we got and then we'll show you the cute fall things we got i have been wanting this book for so long i finally decided to get it for the spooky season and that is rock paper scissors by alice feeney i always hear great things about this it says think you know the person you married think again 10 years of marriage 10 years of secrets and an anniversary they will never forget so it's like a domestic thriller those are always good and it's so short like I can add it into this month no problem the book I ended up getting is the shadows by Alex North you guys know one of my most anticipated reads for this fall is another book by Alex North called the whisper man so I'm so excited to have another book of his I know the plot takes place in these dark spooky woods so I feel like that's gonna be perfect for October I'm hoping to just fit this right in with the other books I have on my TBR I want to use October to read all of the mystery thrillers I have on my shelf so I did get another one but I think this will fit right in with them and I'm hoping I find one I really like so that's it for the books that we got at Target but we did place the book outlet order but it wasn't big enough for us to sit down and do a whole haul so we're just gonna include what we got right now I got the last thing you told me by Laura Dave I really only got this one because you loved it so much I know Jennifer Garner is gonna be playing the main character and the adaptation that's coming out and I love her so I have to read it before it comes out and it was on book outlet for like five that's crazy. I should have. We're just telling you guys, like Book Outlet is crazy. Every video we're just <laughs> loving Book Outlet. Book Outlet. Outlet. So mine from Book Outlet was The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. This caught my eye because I know Simone St. James has the book that just came out, like the Cold Cases book. Oh. I'll put a photo up because I don't remember the exact title. And that one got really popular. Yeah. I know it was on Book of the Month. I hadn't gotten that one, but I saw this one on Book Outlet and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and read this one first. And if I really like it, I'll end up getting the Cold Cases one. It looks like the same vibe yeah. too. Yeah, she has a pattern when it comes to her mm -hmm. covers. So I really like that. The idea of just like a creepy motel hotel just really intrigues me i feel like that's a perfect spooky setting the back is compelling and creepy so i'm hoping it is it does say an engrossing mystery with a tense supernatural thriller and you guys know that's what we're looking for so i'm really hoping this is it and if so i'm going to definitely get the other book by her as well we did get a couple other books but they're not in the little spooky vibe that we're going with right now so we're gonna save those for a different haul but still we got some really good books and we got so much other things from Target that we should just show you guys real quick what we got. Starting off, you guys know the best thing about Target is the section in the front with like one to five dollar items. 
so we were there for a while. Uh, the first thing I got from that were these two wooden little decorative shelves. One of them is a little black house and the other is in the shape of a coffin. I had to get them. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with these yet, but they were only $5 each. So I got both of them and maybe I can make like little books to put in or maybe like decorative candles or something. I just had to get them. You can also hang them on the wall. So cute. So cute. You could paint that one. Great job, Target. This is so exciting. <laughs> They had a bunch of fall themed snacks out, so I had to get some. I got the maple truffle butter cookies and the pumpkin cheesecake sandwiches. They both look good. Yeah, I'm We're ready gonna eat to them have... right now. Can we have some right now? Should we do a little taste test? <laughs> Should we do a mukbang? It turns into a whole bunch. <laughs> We're excited about these. You will see us eating them in all our future vlogs. Mm -hmm. Let me unwrap these. I ended up getting this cute little pumpkin mug. I want to put it on my bookshelf because I don't really drink hot drinks. I can use it for like bookmarks or something cute. I absolutely love it. I got the mug and I got these little ceramic coasters. You can't even see it. These little ceramic coasters that you can paint and they're pumpkin shaped. The coasters were only $3 and the mug was 5 Like look at it on top. That is so cute. That's adorable. Um, Super random. I got these reindeer. Just the fact that there's two pink ones in there i'm gonna put them on my shelf during christmas time or right now <laughs> they were only three dollars so why not it's the dollar section that yeah. just gets me i'm like why would i not spend three dollars on pink reindeer got some halloween mini cheese ball puffs i mean come on they're themed and they're little mini cheese balls mm. I also got this tiny palette that says pick your pumpkins and I want to make little DIY pumpkins to put on top I don't know why they just get me with the tiny little mini things And then I got two of these pumpkin sugar bowls. They come with a little mini spoon I think I want to put like salt and pepper in them though So this is all the items we got from their fall section So excited to put them on our bookshelves and use them for the fall time. Should we go to Trader Joe's next? <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> I want to go to Home Goods. I'm hoping we can get these next two books read by the end of the month. We were this close to buying Verity. Yeah. This close to buying the special gold hardcover edition. However, you don't have any hardcover romance books, so mm -hmm. it didn't make sense for you. I honestly had no good reason other than I was already buying all of this, but I eventually do want to get it because of the new chapter. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. Let us know in the comments where you like to do your fall shopping. As always, we do put out new videos every Monday and Friday so if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time the idea of just like a creepy motel hotel really catches holiday me. in <laughs> motel so hotel holiday in we did notice <laughs> there goes the pumpkin cheesecake <laughs> they're all broken now <laughs>